If you're looking for more bead animal designs, we've got them of course, with this unique sea creature, it's a bead seahorse. The bead seahorse is a simple design and as cute as can be. It's one of the well-known creatures from under the sea. This fast, fun, and easy project, plus it looks great, it's just for you and it's something that you can create. So get ready for this tutorial that'll satisfy your creative needs. Feel free to give this video a like and enjoy this episode of Turbo Beads. Here's a list of everything you need to make the beaded seahorse. Making the seahorse, the first thing we'll need to do is to take four feet of string and add two beads to the string. Now that we have those beads on the string, we're going to match up both ends of string, pushing those beads toward the center of the string. This will be the first row of the pattern. Be sure to keep the beads in the center of the string to ensure that you have the same amount of string to use on both sides. With the first row finished, we're ready to create the next row. To make a row, we'll take one end of the string and we're going to add our bead to that string. Once you have that bead on the string, you're going to take your other end of string and you're going to run it through that bead as well, going in the opposite direction. Once you have your string through that bead, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top, bringing all of the beads together. When pulling both ends of string, be sure that you pull the string evenly to ensure that you still have the same length of string to use on both sides. Creating the next row is just as simple as the previous row. We'll take one end of the string and add two yellow beads to the string. Then we'll take our other end of string and run it through those beads as well going in the opposite direction. When you have that string through those beads, you'll pull both ends of the string until you reach the top. We will continue repeating these same steps when creating additional rows. Remember, we'll take one end of the string and add our beads to the string. With those beads on the string, we'll take our other end of string and we're going to run it through those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. With that string through those beads, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top. So just keep repeating the same steps and follow the pattern as seen at the top of the screen. As you can see, the fifth row consists of four yellow beads as the previous row had two yellow beads and a black bead to represent the eye. Once you finish the fifth row, we'll take one end of the string and add four yellow beads to the string. Now that we have those beads on the string, we're going to run those beads toward the top. This is what it should look like so far. As you can see, we have the four beads here on this string. Let's turn it on the side, making it easier to manage, giving you a better view as well on the next step. From this point, we're going to create a row of two. So take one end of the string and add two yellow beads to the string. Taking your other end of string and running it through those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. With that string through those beads, you'll end up pulling both ends of the string until you've reached the top, bringing all of those beads together. When pulling the string, you'll see that the four beads that were added previously will come together as well. To completely close the gap in between the beads, we'll run some fishing line through these two rows here. So watch closely as I guide the fishing line through these beads. As you should know, I'm using no less than 6 inches of fishing line, as you'll see that this is the easiest method for this part, because the fishing line is clear, strong, and thin enough to fit in between the beads and string. It'll hold together while staying non-visible. Now that we have the fishing line through these first four beads, we will run the other end of fishing line through the next four beads. Again, continue watching and you will see as I guide the fishing line through these beads. Once you have the fishing line through these beads, be sure to pull both ends to ensure you have enough line to use on each side to tie. Now, just tie off both ends of string together with a knot that's tied nice and secure, ensuring that everything stays together minimizing the gap in between the beads as well. As you can see here, this is what it should look like. We've reduced the gap in between the beads, making it look nice and neat. Remember to carefully cut off the tied loose ends of fishing line. At this point, let's straighten out this row of two beads and continue on by using both ends of string again to create additional rows. Remember, it's the easy steps of adding beads to one end of the string taking the other end of string, running it through those beads as well, going in the opposite direction, 
pulling both ends of the string until you've reached the top. Again, following the pattern as seen on the top of the screen. As you can see, this pattern is pretty simple in design, with its easy steps of making rows that make up the shape of the seahorse, as its simplistic color scheme that also complements the design, making it look more than perfect, it's simply divine. But, are there different colors of this sea creature? Of course. Leave a comment below and let me know what colors you choose to make your seahorse. As I'm sure you can already see, that the top part of the seahorse is the head and the middle section is the body. With these last seven rows of one, you can't fail, simply clear as can be that these last rows will make up the tail. As a quick tip, remember when assembling the seahorse to be sure that you take your time to follow the pattern correctly to ensure that everything turns out just right. Also making sure that you pull the string just enough to keep the beads in a tight formation, reducing the gaps in between the beads, making it nice and neat. Once you finish the 20th and final row of this pattern, you'll tie both ends of string together with a knot to lock everything in place. When tying your string together, be sure that your knot is tied nice and tightly secured to ensure that everything stays together. As you can see with this visual reference, tying a knot should be pretty easy to figure out. With that knot tied, we'll now carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string. And finally, at this point, if you have a lanyard hook, you can attach it on the top of this pattern on the string in between the fifth row. Once you've attached the lanyard hook, then your bead seahorse is now complete. And there you have it, another perfect bead animal design that was fast fun and easy to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. If there's anything you'd like to add, requests or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you are new or you just haven't already, don't forget you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials just like this one, hoping you'll tune in for the next one to satisfy your creative needs. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching Turbo Beads.